Hello, hello. I am Ashen Ninja, and this is Torox, the Brass Bull. Even though I'm currently about to fight a battle with Malagor. Uh, Malagor has a fair few little items, a couple of things to help him with some missile resistance, so that's going to be helpful in this battle. Now, uh, there has been an update to the Silence and Fury patch. Um, so we're going to see how we go this time around. Apparently with our Valiant defeat we're going to lose those two. Right, we're going to do our best not to lose at all. So let's try and win. That's what we want to do. In a battle like this we should be able to win anyway really. But you know. We're not going to fight fair, because that's just not how you roll when you're the beastman. Uh, one thing I'm definitely going to want to do is have him remove himself from the battlefield pretty much straight away. Everyone else, I want them to be hidden. Malagor, you start heading that direction. You... Oh, he can't actually leave the battlefield. That's a problem. Well, we're going to have to move him up to a point where... He at least can't really be properly seen. How much magic do we have? 183. That's good. What we want to be able to do is try not to take too much in the way of any kind of damage. We want it. Anything that really happens, we want to be happening over here at Malagor. Oh, Malagor. Did you land? Why did you land? Get, get the hell out of that. Don't do that. That's bad for your health. Very bad for your health, in fact. But... So far, not too big deal. Essentially, what we're really trying to do here is kill as many of them as possible before they make it down here. Uh, you, we're going to have to put you down here this way. Them, we'll move him across there. Uh, back to Malagor. They've grouped up nicely here. Uh, the more they group up, the better for us. What damage we might be able to do to them. So it seems no matter what I do here, they're not gonna not gonna stop. So this occurring on as many units as possible. Probably would be better on some of their more expensive units. Oh, yeah, Tomb Guard. We've got, we've got the Tomb Guard down a fair bit there. Those Tomb Guard with Halberds are less of a problem because they don't really have any... Oh, no, they've got quite a bit of shielding. So that's not good. Now, whom we want to keep a bit behind our lines... I 
Earth. He can cast, which one's that one? It is the Trader Kin, which is more powerful than what old mate here's got. So we want to be using that when we can. Oh, we're going to have to fight the carrion, it seems. That's all right. He should be able to beat a unit of carrion. Can even cast at the same time. That's pretty good. Okay, he's struggling to beat the carrion. That's not very good at all. Oh, well. Let's see if we can get him out of there. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, well. Oh, look at that bunch. Get some more spells down on them there. In range of him yet? Not quite. Bring him a bit to the front here. Let's get some trader kin down, I think. And not really bunching up as much as I would like. So, well, let's see what damage we can get out into them anyway. Him attack you. All right, get out of that combat. That's bad. Giant, you come back and try and deal with him, please. All right, they've spawned that lot. That's no good. Get him out of combat. Giant, you go for him, please. Go attack those skeletons, please, Malago. Keep staying out of things. I believe that only affects the enemy. Hopefully it only affects the enemy there. That's good. Got these Angors up here. We're going to shoot into the back of them because we'll have him dealing with them otherwise. Looking pretty good. Throw that down on them again. How are you doing? You're doing pretty well. I know. That's good. They should be getting the army loss penalties pretty soon. There it is. Lovely. Did take some pretty hefty losses there. But, you know. Better than the losses they took. Ah. 
giant's actually pretty good at taking out a uh, Tomb King, by the look of that. I like that. Excellent. 458 losses. Worse than I'd like. But still. Mostly because you can't hide a giant, apparently. Oh, that's right. That was an intercept battle, wasn't it? But that's alright. All good. All good. Morga and the remaining bits of his army. That won't be a problem. To take that out, and we'll loot and raise it. That's the end of the Exiles of Nehek. So one less enemy. And that's now a lovely blood ground. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So I am still going to have to take out a lot of elves though, so that's not good. Not a good. Now, our friend in the fridge over here, he's finished with Conquara. Good, and down here, where's our, uh, where's Kazrak? Where did Kazrak die? Oh no, that's right. We did only just get Kazrak, he's up here. So we do have a f blood ground up here, but yeah, we don't really have enough there. Skaven are in that little spot. So we might leave that. We actually might get Kazrak just to go to war with our not so friends up here. We have. Do we actually have a siege attacker in this army? It does not look like it. What can he recruit? Sweet fuck all. Alright, that's fine. Alright, our legendary lord, Mr. Brass Balls himself. Let's see what we've got for him. Uh, Gorgon capacity plus one would be okay, actually. Armor for Gorgons, Giants, and Javaslites. Cygors in his army. Yeah. We'll put the last two points in his weapon strength, I think. Get him up a bit stronger. Uh, who else needs levels? Our friend the Wargore here, who mostly has everything he needs now, which is good. His magic user needs it as well, and his magic user really has no need for points at all anymore. Oh. So we'll fill out the blue line a bit for him. That's fine. What else we got? Another core ball. Looks like we're up to the dregs for him as well, since we're putting in armor. Look at his army. Yeah, it's core balls all along here now. That's good. Nothing like lots of core balls in a Minotaur swarm. That's what we want. Uh, do want to be able to put up his capacity for Minotaurs. So we can only have three at the moment. Oh, yeah, various types, of course. 443 dread. We spent 1200 this turn. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, we, this is the turn we bought uh, uh, the other one. Yep, I remember his name. Him on a Razor Gore chariot. That would have helped in that battle. Would have helped him get away with it from the Lord. Uh, Malagor is doing fairly well. A Dark Apothecary from. I do want to get him Lightning Strike. So we'll go for Lightning Strike first and then we'll go back to beefing his magic up a bit. Yeah, evasion for that one. Yeah, Wargor. You're going. You're going to go into Malagor's army, aren't you? Yes, you are. So 
let's combine a bunch of these. Uh, and oh, there's a Nurgle's Faust stink on there now. Hmm. Oh. oh, and there's knowledgeable there. Let's have a look. If I can actually afford any of them, I cannot. Okay, so there's nothing I can really else do. There's nothing else I can really do there. Nothing I can really do there. Oh, I actually got an income because of Albion. Pretty sure that's just broken, but eh, whatever. We'll go head on to the next turn. Oh, we do have a second war goal there. Okay. You're going to want to be friends, and I'm actually good with that. Stops him from dropping nukes on me. Because getting nukes dropped on you is not a very fun thing, i found. Just a hunch. <coughs> oh yeah, so we get a bit of chance of intercepting and that sort of thing. That's good. Eh, more Wood Elves to Glenn and Warren, it's not that big a surprise. Oh, it'll take some Bray Shaman magic, I think that's a good idea. Yet another faction also destroyed. Alright, War Gore Captain, Mother Gore, you can have that one now. What was that name? So he's cunning, so cunning's good to have. That, like so. You actually, I want in that stance as well. Uh, let's have a look. This war gore is level 14. Let's give him replenishment options. Replenishment up plenty. That's a very good idea. Kazrak one eye has not moved. We should be able to take Paravon without too many difficulties. I'd really like to have a... Uh, siege attacker in his army before I do that, though. I don't think he's a siege attacker, is he? He's not. He's got Scourge, though. That's good. Give him a couple of little bits and pieces. A tusk or chariot. I'm not sure if that's the one we want him on. Uh, tusk jaw. No, we'd rather want to raise a gore. So that's a point poorly spent. So we got that's what I would have chosen there. I would not put any points into that. So that's poorly spent too. Uh, overall, it's fine though. I'll let him get some levels up. Well, we'll let him get to sort of hang out there for a bit. We'll just keep him hidden. Good. Alright. Torox, though. We do have... We are into a rampage with you. How much momentum? I've only got five momentum, though. Alright, that's alright. Head him out here. Probably going to use up most of his momentum in this turn. We will do this fight. We will really lose anyone. We'll take the replenishment. So, oh, okay. It didn't give us any extra. Should have actually given us some, but whatever. We are now going to head him towards Ulthlion. Let's try and get him 
as far as we can. So this will end end the uh, rampage, but that's all right. I'm okay with that. We'll start a new rampage when we're an old one. Uh, this Wargore, what can he do with... We'll give him... No, we won't give him that. We'll give him Devastating Charge. He's on a chariot already, so why not? Uh, we'll have to go through and do our usual... Usual upgrades for everyone. Everyone gets an upgrade. Can't get any more of those at the moment, can we? Nope. Good, good, fairly uneventful turn, this one. Albion is mostly all up and running. It's a bit ridiculous with that whole thing though, but whatever. It's all good, it's fine. Now, over this way, we're going to need to create a new blood Master ground. I'm thinking at Hag Hall might be a good one. So that encompasses quite a few bits and pieces into a blood ground. Though so he's coming up this way. If he actually comes up this way, that's not bad. Because we can start our war against him now. Got another hero coming for this army, so let's pop two more of those in there. I'll have two Wargores. He's got a Wargore as well, who is a Nurgle's Faust Ink one. That's good. Good, good, good. Alright, I think it's time to start our war against those particular elves then. Don't want to start a war with the Empire at the moment. They're a bit overly powerful, but I get the feeling that they might want to start a war with me soon. The only issue is having a war with a Lithanar is he does have the same kind of ambush attack stance that uh, the Skaven have. Can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Rampage ends. No surprises there. Pretty sure I even said the rampage is going to end because of what I was doing. Uh, you, my friend, can have Vile Tide. Matt Morgan. This will put us at war with Hexawaddle as well. That's fine. We're just fighting by the look of it. We didn't actually get an ambush in. Not really any point in manually fighting that, I don't think. Wow, apparently they do a shitload of damage. There you go. Bit of cash, an enchanted shield. Right, that's good. Uh, hero action cost minus 50%. Hero success, success chance. Plus some stuffs. It's okay. Move Morga this way. And with you. I'm going to stick them, these two together fairly tightly at the moment. We want that hero to get into his army though. And for some reason, he decided he needs upgrading now of all, t of all times when they're at sea i don't know i don't know I'll take that no actually no i'm still working on, on the way up here aren't i still making him tanky uh, no i'm not gonna worry about skull reef let's get ourselves further into this area i want to see who here so it looks like someone's got themselves a sword of cane. I want the sword of cane. 
let's see. Now this actually uh, apparently ticks down correctly now. Is it worth really getting spell uses for uh, Savage Dominion now? Yeah, so that gives you more uses of right, successful, successful hostile agent actions. I really should do more of those. Uh, but what do I want out of here? That, that's what I want. More ambush success chance. Always a good idea for more ambush success chance. <coughs> good, good. So we can get him up into the Gorgon Saigo area next turn. Another upgrade for you as well. So we need to get him a siege attacker. What is a good siege attacker? No, we need to get into the rank three, so we might be able to get him a giant or something similar. Some sort of siege attacker at least would be good. Don't really want to hire any ogres because I've only got 288 income. And then I'll start losing money. Uh, magic reserves for you, my friend. Okay, you're Morgan and you've got lightning strike now. Much as I would like things like ambush defense chance and gift of chaos, I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to go for slug skin because that puts him up at. 95% missile resistance, so that's just hilarious. That's like skin, yeah. Uh, and we're gonna go with, once it gets to level 12, we'll start on this stuff. Which can actually be really good for some of his specific units, so just to keep things amusing. At least for me, anyway. They're all upgrading now. Did I actually move Torox and his brass balls in the end? Yes, I did. Cool. That's good. <coughs> you I moved. Um, now, what we are going to need is... I don't think Kazrak has one at the moment. What does he? It's not. So for a reward of dread, let's get him a Bray Shaman, because he'll be able to recruit one next turn. And that is where we're going to leave this episode. So we managed to fight off that uh, intercept and knock them knock them completely out of the running. They're now at war with uh, Alithana, which is good. And they've got the plague, which is also good. Now, up here... Why haven't I performed that ritual? Well, apparently I have. I said perform ritual just a second ago. Okay. So that's good. So most of this is locked out. They can recolonize some things up here. And that's fine. Main thing we want to do is take out all of this... If we have to go back up and destroy stuff later, that's actually perfectly fine. I don't really mind that. But we'll wreck them. Wreck them good. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I've been Ash Ninja. Hope it's been enjoyable. I'll see you in the next one. Do the subscribing thing. Have a good one. <laughs>